All right, this video is a follow-up in collaboration with uh, viewer Dean MK1. Uh, I posted a video a few weeks ago. Uh, we wanted to see how much chokes affect velocity with deer slugs. Uh, I was trying to do a two-in-one uh, two video where I was testing not only that, but also how accuracy is negatively affected by chokes, or positively, depending on how you look at it. I went to the range with the intent of doing that. Um, we got the accuracy results, but my chrono wasn't working right. I think it was too dark out. So I wasn't able to get the velocity results. So I'm just in my backyard here today and we're gonna get the velocity results. So you can go check out the, the accuracy one if you wanna see how the chokes affect the accuracy. So we got my skeet choke here, uh, improved cylinder modified in full. Nor my dirty ass hands because no joke been out all day burning brush so yeah I got dirt under my fingernails and all that good shit so anyways I'm gonna be back at it after this burning more brush ignore all the blocks too I had to dig up my well because I had a busted water line and all those blocks were in the well area and that's why the water line busted so I had to dig those out and I still gotta get rid of all that shit so anyways just your standard Winchester rifled slugs two and three quarter inch I'm gonna start with the least restrictive choke first skeet and then step it up to tighter and tighter so it'd be skeet improved cylinder modified and then full So, sorry the cameras are a little lower, but that's as high as my tripod thing for it goes. So we got skeet first. I'm just going to do three shots for uh, each choke tube and calculate what the average is. tractor going down the road. <laughs> I'm just going to be standing right behind the camera so the barrel will be like, I don't know, a few feet behind the chrono. I'm going to shoot at that log out there and my burn pile there. Maybe we'll hit it a few times. All right, improved cylinder. Oh, dropped one. Modified.
All right, full choke. Now you shouldn't try to shoot slugs out of a full choke anyways. I mean, you can as long as they're, they're these hollow rifled ones, but uh, you know, it squishes them down quite a bit, but I don't, at this point, I don't think it's gonna make much difference, but if you watch the uh, accuracy video, definitely a difference there. Well, doesn't seem like uh, really any difference between the others. I'll run the numbers. I know it's a very negligible amount, but uh, there was definitely a little bit of difference with the full choke. Check this out. I wasn't aiming for any particular spot. I was just kind of shooting all over it, trying to hit it in different spots. <laughs> ah, shit. I thought we had some stuck there, but it was just the marks from it. Yeah. Might be one in there. Yeah, there's a hole in there. <laughs> there was a pellet earlier. I was testing that chrono with my pellet gun. That's another thing. It, it picks up those little pellets. It's a 8-pump Sheridan. And even... With one pump, it picks them up, and uh, full eight pumps, it picks them up too. If it, so, if it picks up those little pellets, you know it's a good chrono. All right, well, I'm not gonna bother getting an average on those numbers since it was such a negligent amount, if any at all. Like it, it looked like it was about the same for the first three chokes. It didn't seem like it really changed at all until uh, the full choke. So, you know. If you guys want to average it out and go ahead but I ain't that concerned about it obviously there was a difference with the full choke only a small amount like what two percent maybe but anyways there you go so that's how your chokes affect velocity with slugs like I said you guys should go check out the uh, accuracy video so you can see how they affect accuracy if that's something that interests you that uh Please uh, hit the like button for me, guys, especially you, Dean. This was for you, man. Sorry it took so long, but I had shit going on. Uh, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, guys.